All right, all right. What's going on, party people? This is your man, Griff. Hey, just a word of encouragement for any of you who are looking at doing social media at all. Not even talking about trying to be an influencer, just doing social media just for us, sharing who you are, sharing your experience, all of that. Um, just know that not everybody's going to like your delivery. Not everybody's going to like your tone. Not everybody's going to like anything about you. And... As long as you're speaking truth, stand on it, okay? Stand on it. Be who you are and don't let them stop you. And the crazy part is it's always one or two people or small, minuscule group, smaller than a mustard seed, that always has some kind of quirks or issues with you. And I will tell you this, from experience and just my personal experience and talking with other people, people out here who are doing things whether online or whatever doing that moving forward into just doing their thing whatever that may be <clears throat> a lot of times the person who is coming at you or that group it's because you're pulling people away from them and they want to get the people who you are attracting you they want the people who like you and what they try to do is be anti you and say, hey, come over here to me because I am not like that person. And when you come across somebody like that, you got to be real careful. Because if the only way you can be, if the only way they can be successful or whatever is to always point out something negative about you and say, because I'm not like that person, you should come be with me. Those are the people you most definitely got to be careful of. You got to be careful of when, especially if they're not even giving you really anything in return for your time and effort and money. I know I'm not like a lot of people, but I make sure that I give value. I make sure that I give everybody what they need to get moving forward and what it is they say they're trying to do. Sometimes people try to go out here and do things just to pull people away from you, which means they're hurting the people who are not following you when you're doing things positive, when you're doing things right. So it's frustrating, sometimes hurtful, sometimes confusing, but be strong, be deliberate in who you are. And if you are wrong in something that you're doing, then correct it, correct it, make it right. And then keep de delivering the good message because what's important is the content of what you're saying and yes presentation and all of that and a lot of people focus on the presentation but not everybody's presentation can be the same you as the person who you are you can't always be like everybody else we spend so much time when we're kids being told be who you are be free don't act like them be different from the crowd and then we will but then when we become adults there's so many people who are trying to tell us don't be different. Act like the rest of those people that I like. I like the way they do things. I like the way he does, she does, them does, he does, them does, all of that. And they want you to be like the rest. And they don't want you to have any individuality. But when you was a kid, it was all about your individuality. When you was in high school, it was all about your individuality. And the moment you become an adult where you're not in any type of educational system, be the same as everybody else. And I don't understand that. Why all of a sudden now I got to be the same as everybody else when I've spent the majority of my life being told, be you, it's okay to be different. And now you're telling me it's not. Why is that? That's the question for the ages. Why can't I be who I am now when you told me to be who I was back then? Talk to y'all later. Peace.